Hey everybody, today we're going to make this happy birthday card with this adorable little gnome bee and some flowers and leaves. So here I have cut a panel with the honeycomb panel die and I've traced a circle die on there and you're going to see how we use that to make kind of a little diorama for this little bee to sit in. So I'm going to speed up very simple coloring with Olo markers of all of the leaves and the flowers. Now, these markers in particular have a really free flow of ink, so it's easy to quickly color these die cuts. I do have this sped up a little bit, but this doesn't take long at all. So the flow of the ink really makes a big difference. And what I'm doing is just using two different colors of green marker to color the foliage. This is just for a little variation, but I'm doing literally no shading, nothing until we get to the gnome. So if you wanted to do this out of colored cardstock, you could certainly do that. I kind of like the transparency that alcohol ink adds to die cuts that have the detail that these do where the little leaf parts have additional shapes cut into them same with the flowers I think the alcohol ink highlights this really well but it looks just as cute with colored cardstock if you want to save yourself some time another thing you can do with a die set like this if you are using colored cardstock is just run it through three or four times on this white cardstock. I ran it through twice so that I had two sets of all the things that I wanted, which was about right for the size of circle that I chose. But if you just run it through several times, so run it through a couple times with green, run it through a couple times with pink, blue, yellow, use maybe three, four sheets of cardstock because you can run it through with half a sheet of cardstock each time. You could put those in a little organizer and have so many pieces for cards. So that's one of the reasons that I like these die sets with multiple shaped dies like this that are perfect on their own. You can make a million different kinds of cards with this. So just take a couple minutes and do that and you'll have a little packet of ready to go card elements. They're also great just to put around big word dies. So now I will start to glue these down and I'm popping the little gnome in the center just to see how much room I have for those to kind of protrude into my little diorama. And I'm just putting glue on the back. You can see I even traced over the little skinny honeycomb lines with the circle die just so that I could stay true to that shape and really make it so it's round. So just a little bit of white glue on the back and I have a nice little sort of a wreath but attached to that honeycomb window that I think is just so cute and colorful and I've done all of that on craft cardstock just so that those colors pop and then I can put another color behind this little window. So now I'll color the gnome and again I'm coloring this very simply. I'm starting with a bit of orange at the edge of his yellow stripes to add shading, simple shading, no expertise needed. And I had to think kind of carefully about where I wanted the yellow and where I wanted the black to be on this little bee. So you'll see why in just a second. The flower that he's holding looks like a sunflower to me, so I knew that I was going to color that yellow which meant that that needed to be against a black backdrop. I'm keeping a lot of things simple here. I'm leaving his beard, his wings in the center of that sunflower white. So really all I had to do was add the black, but you can see how much that little touch of orange adds to those yellow stripes in terms of shading. So now I will go back with a detailed black marker. This is a graphite marker. It has a very fine tip that I like for coloring small images. It's also alcohol ink though, so it will blend with other markers. So I will show you how I needed that black contrast there to make that little sunflower stand out. If that stripe in particular had been yellow, then the flower would have just gotten lost. You could always just color the flower a different color though if you forget where you're putting your stripes, which I do a lot as I'm coloring, especially anything with stripes. I'm easily distracted. 
So I'm going to make his little feet black as well, but his feelers are going to be yellow because I just think they're so cute. I wanted to draw attention to them. So I usually when I'm coloring stripes, like on a hat, a witch hat, something like that, I'll just leave a little white bit for the highlight, but it's even quicker just to come back with the white gel pen. So that's what I'm going to do. And even though the bottom of his feelers will get covered up by this black marker, it just looks so cute this way, framing his face that I colored right over him. No big deal. Just modify your stamp images however you want. So his little sleeves will be black as well. Again, they are bordering the flower. And so I need a little bit of contrast there. And then his beard is white, so they will kind of pop against there. You could also just add glitter to the wings if you wanted to. I'm going to leave them white because this is kind of a crisp looking card. But I am going to color his nose and his little hands the same color. And then add just a little bit of yellow to his cute little feelers. Now he's done. Look how cute he is. And he will sit on top of the honeycomb in my little diorama after I die cut it. But first I need to see what color I want to back it with. I initially thought yellow just because of the honeycomb feel. But the second I put it on this black cardstock, it just popped to me. I felt like it made the colors look brighter. It made him stand out a little bit more with his white wings. And I just think it's so, so cute with the black. I, I am a sucker for black cardstock. I'm not going to lie. I think it makes everything look brighter and prettier no matter what you're doing. So that's what he looks like on black cardstock. Look at him up close. He's so cute. Now I will use the white gel pen to add my little highlights. And what I like to do is kind of just pick an area of the stripes. So going straight down his body, they'll all be kind of in the same general area, which is over here on this right side. And then I'll add highlights to his shoes because I like to think of and bumblebee gnomes as wearing patent leather shoes because they're classy like that. And that just adds so much and it's way quicker than kind of leaving your own white space. So if you're in a mood to make a quick card, this is a good one. Look at that. It's so cute. I love him so, so much. And then I will just take a circle die and cut this out. You could use any shape die that you wanted, but I liked the circle. I felt like it mimicked his shape just a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.